Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Martina Parker and today we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Yes, the day of love. And so if you are looking for ideas on what to do for date night or what to buy your love or how to get that beat going so that you have that perfect makeup look just keep on watching all right guys COVID has just been really hard on all of us and it's making it very difficult if you are in dating relationships or a married relationship because it's just so many things that have been x'd out of what you can do so we're kind of limited right now but I'm here to share good news there are things that you can do with your male or lady love and have a fantastic Valentine's Day. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about date night ideas. Let's the go. The first one is playing dress up. I absolutely love playing dress up. It's something that is incorporated into my own personal relationship. Becoming a different person for a date night is just so super fun. And you can pick a theme, you can pick, um, a color scheme that you want to go with you can pick a genre of music whatever it is that's going to inspire you to become that different person for your date night that is something that you want to capitalize on it's super fun it makes you more in tune with becoming something else and all of that extra effort that you are putting in to getting ready for date night and being your special character it really does pay off in the appreciation from your uh, significant others so please do try to play dress up my next tip is to turn a room in your house into your playtime room whether it's your family room your living room during your date night you want to dedicate a specific area of your home that's just going to be date night if it's your living room turn your living room into a movie theater pop the popcorn get the movie theater candy do those things that make it feel more significant and special to you in that specific room so whatever room you choose if it's your bedroom or it's your family room turn it into whatever you're doing if you go into the movies turn it into the movie theater if you go into a concert hall get those extra speakers out turn it into a concert hall all of those things will just make the day feel a little bit more special even though you're still quarantining at home I'm not sure how many of you all are into cooking even if you're not into cooking you could do it if you did it through uber eats or anything like that Order or prepare your favorite meal together, a gourmet meal even, or a non-gourmet meal. You can take a grilled cheese sandwich and then lux it up with ham and tomatoes or anything that you want to put into that grilled cheese sandwich. Or you can really do an upscale, do lobster or crab cakes and really make it a experience because you're going to cook and prepare the meal together. No paper plates allowed, no plastic forks or knives or spoons or cups allowed. You're going to actually eat with real cutlery on real dishes. So make sure that you've set your table, create the ambiance, turn on some candles, dim your lights. All of those things will help it to feel more date-like and you'll be able to celebrate the Valentine's Day that you two create together in a space that you all created together. And finally, no matter what you choose to do on Valentine's Day, get the person a card. Cards are so significant because it allows you to pick wording that speaks to your relationship and then take the time to actually write a custom message to your love in the card. Date it so that you guys can look back over the years of your relationship and see how your love has grown and blossomed cards are always a plus for valentine's day now i know my fellas are watching and they're like well what do i buy her i need to get her a gift i gotta make it special you do and so does she she needs to give you great gifts and you need to give her a great gift too but that doesn't mean breaking the bank and so i'm going to go over a few items that i already own that would make fantastic outstanding valentine's day and then i'm going to give you a tip of a couple of that I don't own just in case my significant other is watching so that he could get a leg up on what to get me for Valentine's Day. Color scheme themed gifts are always great for Valentine's Day. Pink is a big Valentine's Day. Purple is a big Valentine's Day color. But the color red speaks and screams Valentine's Day. So if you want to get her something, get her something that is absolutely that Valentine's Day red and so I would highly recommend I did a review of this bag 
in a previous video. This is the Georgie Gym Coach Bag. It's $140 at the Coach Outlet, so it's not gonna break the bank, but it's a significant purse and it's so adorable. It'll be something that she definitely remembers through the years. You can also try scarves for her bag or any bag charm that is red. That will be a great gift to go along with the bag. So think about gifts that are red. Another recommendation in the red category is a cosmetic bag. Women need to carry things. That's just how we are. We're built like that. We just carry stuff around, stuff for our family, stuff for the kids, stuff for our personal self. So we like little pouches. This is the Chanel O case. This is a great item to give someone. And if you don't wanna go as high end as a Chanel, definitely go towards a lower end. There are so many red cosmetic bags out there that give you the same type of luxe feel without that luxe price tag. But this particular shape is the shape that you wanna go with. It's so thin and narrow, but it opens up and it holds a lot of items. So this is something that you can definitely pop into a store and pick up for Valentine's Day. Coach, Tory Burch, try TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any of those stores, look for the cosmetic bags. Some will be able to help you, but you're gonna leave one that has some red on. Another item that is an excellent item to give is the gift of a shoe. There's nothing better than a sexy red shoe or a comfortable one in my case. These are my favorites, they're the Gucci Marmots and they're a sensible heel and they're so freaking comfortable. So when she's wearing the shoe, she'll remember you, she'll be happy that her feet aren't hurting, or if she's into that high sexy stiletto, get that as well because she'll remember you every time she wears them and it'll make her feel extra special and super sexy. Now, if you are a guy that just loves pink and you really want to get her something in that pink family, I am obsessed with the Pandora Charms. This is a Pandora Charm bracelet that I started in all of these. Oh, that light's catching it. There we go. And all of these charms are readily available. And guess what? I'm going to give you a tip. Jared has the charms on sale for 50% off. And so I'll pop up a few pictures as I'm speaking about some of the ones that are my absolute favorite for Valentine's Day. So you can go that route. You can also go the Alex and Annie route. They're also having a fantastic sale. And I love the Alex and Annie bracelets. I love the way they pop open and pop close. So they're really, really substantial. They feel good on the arm. They look good. It's great eye candy, especially if you layer several of them together. So definitely check out Alex and Annie for gift options for Valentine's Day. Hey, baby. Here's a few things that I'd love for Valentine's Day. These Heart and Cupid Drop earrings from Bobble Bar are adorable. My lips will look nice and shiny with this lip kit from Mini Lip Pill Kit. Sugar tinted lip treatment is also on deck in any color that you choose. I'm always greedy, so get me some popcorn from Dylan's Candy Bar. I need my water so I can stay hydrated. This bottle is so adorable. And lastly, this Kate Spade 3D Heart Coin Purse is a little pricey, but it's adorable and I'd love it. Shh, bonus tip. I'm going to share with you what we will be doing for Valentine's Day. Bay and I are going to go living room camping. So we're gonna set up the campsite and we've already practiced making s'mores in the house. All you need are the s'mores ingredients. You'll need marshmallows, chocolate, your favorite graham cracker, whether it's honey or cinnamon, and you'll also need a sterno. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up and how to make it a very romantic campfire experience. I told you I was gonna share my secret to a sexy date night, and it is glamping. You can turn your living room into a campsite. So let me show you the special dessert that we're gonna to put together. We're gonna to make s'mores. Okay guys, this is my s'more setup. So what you'll need is a pretty little centerpiece with some electric or battery operated candles, or you can use real candles. And you'll need your accoutrements for your s'mores. You'll need your marshmallows, your graham crackers, your chocolate, of course some skewers for your marshmallows, and whatever heating device you're gonna use to warm it up, and two small plates. 
So let me go ahead and show you. Let's, Let's get started. started. You're gonna need your sterno and you can just put it in any heat safe pot if you don't have a s'more maker. And so I'm gonna go ahead and light my fire. And as that flame starts to come up, I'm gonna get my marshmallow ready. So you're just gonna put your marshmallow on whatever little skewer that you're using. Take your graham cracker, and this is my secret. I like to take my chocolate and break it in half and put it like this on the cracker so that I can drop the marshmallow inside and it'll solidify everything together. So you just take in small sections And I like to roast mine a little bit. And once I get it hot, I take it, lay it down, and just pull the skewer out. And you can serve yourself or you can serve Bay first, but I'm gonna serve myself. That is so yummy, guys. So for your date night, try s'mores. It's super fun. Bye. Now, sometimes you're just at a loss of what to do with yourself um, in terms of making a look for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to tell you to go with the principles of opposite. If you're not a lipstick wearer, buy a bold lip. If you're not a person that wears your hair down, wear it down. If you're not a person who wears makeup, put some on. These are the way that you change things up and make it feel unique and special. If you're a person that does your hair all the time, like I do, I change my hairstyle every other day. Sometimes the same day, it may start out curly and then I put it in a ponytail or I start out straight and I put it up in a bun. Whatever you are as a person, as an individual, bring that to your date night. That will make it feel more special to you and it will make it feel more special to the other person. There is something so uniquely special about the getting ready phase of a date that you do not want to miss out on that. Take your time. Take a luxurious bubble bath, shave your legs, <laughs> or anything else you feel like shaving. Just make sure that you spend time on you. It's your self-care time when you are preparing for a date. Pick that special outfit out. Do whatever makes you feel extra special. Mine is cocktailing perfumes and creating a look. So I always smell very different each and every date, and I try my best to look different on our special dates, on date nights. And Valentine's Day would just be one of those special times. So take the time to do that. It's special for you, and it's definitely special for the other person. And they will appreciate the amount of effort that you put into making a fantastic experience for the both of you. So since I love makeup, I love hair, I love changing that look up, I'm going to just give you a couple of ideas at the end of this video of creative ways that you can just kind of spice things up and shake it up a little bit. And I hope that it gives you that confidence to go and try something new just for you. And if the other person doesn't appreciate it, that's okay. You did it just for you. And that's what matters the most. So thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic and special Valentine's Day with your love. Love you all. Bye. Makeup doesn't have to be intimidating. Try a simple, bold lip. If you're good at liner, try a bold under eye eyeliner. Beautiful skin is sometimes all you would need. Try a wig that will give you a different look for a little bit of flair and flavor. And finally, if you're bold enough to try them, eyelashes are your thing.